Hey Illini fans, I'm Lauren Ross and welcome to this week's episode of The Eye. Let's get started with the Illini update. The Illinois volleyball team suffered a tough three-set loss to top-ranked Penn State on Saturday. Jacqueline Quaid led the team with 16 kills. Illinois football had a hard-fought battle against Wisconsin at Saturday's homecoming game. Sophomore quarterback Jeff George Jr. threw for 108 yards in Illinois' 24-10 loss. The Illini soccer team lost its final regular season game to Iowa on Wednesday. The Illini outshot the Hawkeyes 10-6, but gave up an early goal to lose 1-0. This week's Prairie Farms Performer of the Week is running back Kendrick Foster. The senior had his first touchdown of the season on Saturday against number 5 Wisconsin. Illinois men's golf has consistently been a top national competitor. We spoke with a few of their players on their tournament this weekend. Coming off a pretty solid week as a team and myself last week. Um, so I think we're all just uh, getting excited to play because East Lake's a great place and uh, the tournament venue is really cool. Um, so I think uh, our preparation has been good and uh, just been getting ready for uh, this event because we all kind of have this one on our calendar for, you know, we kind of star it because it's a big one and uh, it's a lot of fun. So we're excited to get going since then. Um, at this point last year, we were still pretty young. Uh, we had three, two or three freshmen in the lineup at the time and uh, we were just a pretty immature young team. So since then, uh, we've grown up a lot and uh, our seniors have kind of led us in a, a really positive way, so um, we're just kind of becoming more of a, a mature, older, and kind of finding our mojo as a team, so um, it's been all good since then. Uh, personally, I mean, I just kind of kind of got to get up for the opportunity and for the, uh, the big time event, so as long as I uh, go through our basic stuff and do what we all know we can do. Um, my game should be all right. Um, I think just practicing with the team every day helps me a lot. Like everyone just pushing each other to get like better and better. And so yeah, I'm just I'm just getting here uh, every day and practice more and just try to to improve every part of my game with the team. But uh, yeah, just like enjoy the moment. Like it's one of the of the f like f m like most fun uh, tournament of the of the season. So just just go there and have fun and just compete. Go Lana. There have been plenty of outstanding performances in Illinois athletics this year. Justin Fell is in the studio to talk about October's greatest plays. Thanks, Lauren. Illini fans, the month of October has come to a close, so it's that time of the month where we go back and look at the best plays and sequences in Illini sports. At number three this month, we have an impressive interception along the sideline by Cameron Watkins to start the fourth quarter in last week's Illini football game at Minnesota. While the Illini came up just short of a victory, this was surely a standout play in a tight contest. At number two, a 69th minute goal by Kara Marbury off the beautiful free kick feed provided by Lauren Cecil. The goal would prove to be the winning one as the Illini beat Northwestern at home 1-0. At number one, down 14-11 in the fifth and final set at Iowa, Illinois Volleyball rallies off five straight points to grab their 16th win of the season. That left side, Quaid, through the block, it goes down. The Jumping Juniors, Coulter and Mastinelli, make the block at the net, and Illinois take the fifth set. As always, it's been a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you all next month for some more Illinois Top Plays. When we come back, we'll meet Illinois Swimming's new assistant coach. It's hard not to be a fan of a credit card that gives you more while saving you money every single day. The Illini Visa Rewards Card, available only through U of I Community Credit Union. Elliot McGill is brand new to the Illinois Swimming's coaching staff. We sat down with the Champagne native to talk about his plans while at Illinois. The, the experience at Eastern Illinois as a, as a college coach uh, really allowed me to get the experience with the weight room, uh, with the pool that the girls and the guys needed uh, to improve coming off of their high school years. Uh, coming into uh, Illinois as an assistant coach, uh, I, I'm able to kind of bring some things that we were doing 
bring some things that uh, could help the girls here just kind of take that next step forward. Two, nine, five. Uh, it's been really amazing. Uh, the girls are amazing. Uh, Sue is really nice and uh, is a great coach. I've learned a lot already just from them, and I think uh, some of the things that I've brought to the team, they've really responded to as well. And so the first two weeks, I don't think could have gone any better. You know, I think this year is just move up in the Big Ten, uh, and then as we go through the next few years, just keep inching our way up each and every year, and then slowly moving our way into the national scene uh, with the Olympic trials and uh, national team stuff. The Illinois volleyball team hosts Northwestern on Wednesday. The Illini beat the Wildcats in Evanston earlier this season. Illinois football is back on the road against Purdue. The Boilermakers are 3-5 on the season. Men's basketball will play Eastern Illinois on Friday in Charleston. All proceeds of the exhibition game will be donated to hurricane relief efforts. That's it for this week's episode of The Eye. Make sure to check back in next week for more updates on Illinois athletics.